and welcome to part two of my 300 Win Mag versus the 300 WSM Winchester Short Mag comparison. I hope you had a chance to watch the first video. If you didn't, the link is in the description to the first video. Just a quick summary of what we talked about. We went over commercial ammo in the first video. I was going to go over the recoil again in this video real quick. You can see the 300 WSM 150 grain bullet at 3,300 feet per second with an eight and a quarter pound rifle has 22.5 pounds of recoil and that's foot pounds and the velocity is 3.3 feet per second coming back at you and then you have at 180 grain 2970 this is the exact same load same bullet just different size rifle you can see with a lighter rifle seven and a quarter pounds one pound difference you get 27.1 pounds of recoil moving back at 15.5 feet per second. So the big difference that one pound makes, four pounds, three and a half pound difference in recoil. So the rifle makes big difference. That's when you'd want to start doing a muzzle break or something like that to, to help reduce recoil if you can't handle that much. But this would be much nicer to pack around while you're hunting uh, than this one. I mean, you might not notice much of a difference, but once you get the scope and everything on there, it does make a difference uh, in 23.8 there. And then you can see moving on down to the 300 Win Mag. 300 Win Mag, 150 grains, 33.20 feet per second, 8.5 pound rifle, 23.5 foot pounds, 13.3. So you can see it's going 20 FPS faster. It is a heavy rifle, but the recoil is a pound more. And then you have the 165 at 310. 8 pound rifle 26.2 and then the 180 grain 2968 pound 25.9 so that's showing you the difference between the 300 Win Mag and the 300 WSM they both recoil fairly similar and then a quick uh, review here you can see that this is for factory ammo 300 WSM was 878.5 foot pounds of energy average at a thousand yards and the 300 Win Mag was 927.3 foot pounds of energy average at a thousand yards and like I mentioned in the last video of course you can pick and choose bullets depending on what you're doing if you're going to be hunting long range and you want the most you can get 300 Win Mag that one right there 1343 foot pounds of energy at a thousand yards and then down here you can grab this guy right here which is the only one available for the 300 WSM from the factory 1,076 foot-pounds there. Moving on to part two, you get a lot more flexibility in hand loads. This is Hornady's ELDXs is all I'm comparing here. Uh, we'll go ahead and start with the WSM, 178 grain ELDX, 545 BC, you're 1578 feet per second at 1,000 yards, 984 foot-pounds of energy, drop is 249, so fairly flat shooting for that bullet. And then down here you have the 200 grain, higher BC, better energy there, 1,045 and 1,534 feet per second there, 271 inch drop. Moving down here, and now these are just starting to push the limits of this shorter case. The bullet is just getting too long, so you don't get as good of increases, and you can see it actually drops there. And the reason why is because the bullet's getting too long, you can't put as much powder in, and it just makes a big difference. I mean, you're losing five grains of powder right there. Uh, there um, again 212 grain this is the the biggest bang here that you'll get out of the 300 WSM at a thousand yards that's 1149 foot-pounds of energy 1562 feet per second 289 inch drop then 1019 332 inch drop there 1444 so you can see this one drops quite a bit the BC is lower but it's also going slower because it just it's getting too long for that case and I, I mentioned this before these are max loads so your rifle could very easily be under this this is the max load so you want to start at the base load and work your way up to these my gun I shoot a 7 mm 8 it actually does better than the max load so I can go up to the max load and go slightly above with some because of my fine-tuning of my reloads and so I, I see better numbers than this, but it, every rifle is going to be different and you have to test that. You can't just jump to the max load or you're going to blow something up or hurt someone or ruin your rifle or whatever. It's not safe to do that. So moving on to the 300 Win Mag, you have 178 grain ELDX, 545 BC, 998 foot-pounds of energy, 1589 feet per second, 254 inch drop. You can see it's fairly close 984 998 so you're only 14 foot pounds of energy different fairly similar between these two 200 grains 1216 with 263 inch drop compare that to 1045 271 and then 1355 for the 212 grain 263 inch drop this is a 
very nice load there. It is compressed, so you, you want to be careful with that. Anytime you compress, you can get some spikes in pressure or in, insufficient powder burns or not a very efficient powder burn. And then the 220 grain ELDX, 1232 foot-pounds of energy, 1588, 291. So both calibers, this one would be the top load available for both. And then I did the averages here. Your 1,049 foot-pounds average for the 300 WSM, 1,200 exactly for the 300 Win Mag for averages there. So you can see that they both do very well, but if you need the bigger, longer bullets, the heavier bullets, the 300 Win Mag has just the extra case room and length to suit those bullets. So, and that concludes part two of the comparison. A little shorter this time. Part three will be Nostler reloads. So I hope you uh, will stick around and enjoy that video when I get that one out there. Please subscribe, hit the like button. Hopefully you liked the video. If you didn't like the video, go ahead and share it with someone you don't like. Appreciate you taking the time to watch. And let me know if you have any questions or comment, and I'll do my best to answer those. Thanks.